Turning now to today's morning business report. Beef cattle inventories dropped to lo the lowest levels that we've seen in more than half a century. And this week, arguments began over the Biden administration's plan to forgive federal student loan student debt. That's in front of the Supreme Court. Jane King is live in the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Hi, good morning to you. Yes, the Supreme Court will take on the student debt relief plan this week. So tomorrow, they begin hearing arguments about if President Biden's $400 billion plan to forgive student loan debt is constitutional. At issue is if a president can make such a policy without the spending approval from Congress. Well, beef cattle inventories across the U.S. are at their lowest level in more than six decades. According to the Ag Department, rising demand will mean long-term price hikes for consumers. And in fact, global financial firm BTIG predicts that beef prices will rise by about 15% this year and will remain high through 2025. Well, the FDA just approved the first combination test for flu and COVID that can be used at home. So if you have symptoms, you're not sure exactly what it is, this test will at least help determine that. The Lucera COVID-19 and flu home test can be purchased without a prescription and it uses self-collected nasal swab samples and then delivers results in about 30 minutes. Well, stocks fell Friday with all the major indexes down more than 1%. And in fact, stocks had their worst week of the year on inflation fears. But looks like we'll try to bounce back today. We're pointing more than 100 points higher. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jane. Have a great day. 6.50.